Today I'll talk about how .NET Standard and .NET Core relate to each other. Hello friends of .NET, I'm Will Landreth and you can find me on Twitter at TerraJobst. As you can probably see, this is not my office, this is actually my living room and I'm shooting this episode right now from home because they kicked me out of my office. No, I'm not fired from Microsoft yet. The reason they kicked me out is because I get new painting and I get new carpet, which is really kind of cool because our building looks a little bit dated. Speaking of dated, let's talk about a bit a little bit of dates today. So in today's episode, I will give you a brief overview of how .NET Core and .NET Standard relate in terms of shipping artifacts and in terms of dates. It will be a quick episode because I'm shooting this from home and my wife is not happy with that. So we'll see about that. All right, let's jump right into it. So first of all, .NET Core is an implementation of the standard, meaning .NET Core is not a special platform in that, in that sense. It's an equal platform to .NET Framework, Mono, Xamarin, Unity, and all the others. They're just implementations of .NET Core, uh, of, sorry, of the .NET standard. In the past, that was slightly different because in the past, .NET Core, or I should say the reference assemblies of .NET Core, were the same assemblies we used for the .NET standard. And that made it really challenging for us to add new APIs to .NET Core because we had to preempt the decision whether we will add those APIs to the standard or not. Moving forward, that's no longer the case. We have fully divorced .NET Core from .NET Standard. As I explained in my previous video, .NET Standard is using the netstandard.tll reference assembly and .NET Core is using system.runtime. And that means we can just add APIs to .NET Core and they may never make it to the .NET Standard. And that is actually kind of nice because it means we can ref .NET Core as fast as we see fit. And then when we actually find concepts that we think should really be universally available on all .NET platforms, we simply take it back to the .NET standards body, review the APIs, and then add them everywhere. But the key thing is we can ref .NET Core independently of the standard. Second thing I want to talk about are the, AP, uh, are the release dates. Uh, and that's kind of interesting because many of you asked us all these new APIs, when do I get finally my hands on them? And the answer is, first of all, .NET Core 1.0 and 1.1 both shipped. And those are the ones that implement .NET Standard 1.6. The upcoming version of .NET Core, which is version number 1.2, will implement .NET Standard 2.0. And both .NET Standard 2.0 as well as .NET Core 1.2 will roughly ship when Visual Studio 2017 will ship next year. I don't think we have announced a release date for 2017 yet, so you have to stay tuned on that one. But the key message I want to give you is they will ship together with the upcoming version of Visual Studio. All right, guys, that's all I had. I hope you found this helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. But more importantly, check out the other videos in the same series on .NET Standard. Thank you.